Nate, why are you here? Um, well, still, I'm here today because I'm married to my wife for about three or four years. Uh, we got two kids together, but two months ago, she left me. She left you? Yeah. Why did she leave you? Well, because in the past, I've been on chat lines, you know, calling them. Because I think it's fun. Like, I don't be cheating or nothing. <laughs> it's just fun to listen what, to them. What's, what's fun being on a chat line? Have you ever called one before, Steve? No, I haven't. You got to call them. I'm telling you, you got to call them. Like, listen, you call them, be like, oh, baby, I want to do this. It's, it's funny. Like, it's real funny. And what are you saying? I just listen and laugh. OK, so you call a chat line. And they don't know who they're talking. It's like, hey, baby, I want to be you. Yeah. And you're just like, hee, 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 No, I'll, I'll be like, no, like, I'll talk back. I'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, that's what's up. You know, whatever, whatever. But I don't, like, do nothing. I don't meet them. I don't get their number. But you're talking sexually on the phone. No, not, I don't have phone sex. No, I don't have that. I don't do that. But are you saying sexual things? No, I just say, you know, I'm here looking for this and that. What are you looking for? Nothing, really. I just oh. say. <laughs> OK, that makes a lot like, of sense. No. I call a chat line. What are you looking for, Muffin? No, like, I say the, the I say. <laughs> no, Steve. I say that I'm looking for, like, a relationship, or I say I just moved to the town and I'm new, stuff like that, so people would say stuff. But it's just fun to hear, like, and, I, and I've called all kind of called the black ones, the white ones, the Latinos. They all call them all. Oh, all... you call them all. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, it's, like, it's comical to me. Because I get bored, so like, I have nothing else to do. You get bored? Yeah. Well, well, how about spending some time with your wife? <laughs> That's true. But no, so I be cheating on but I now, don't. Now, that expensive, calling a chat line? No, it's free. Like, I got to do the free trial membership. Then once it's over, <laughs> I just hang up. You know what I mean? Because I ain't trying um... to spend money on it. I haven't really cheated. Like, there was just one time that I you met You must be on these chat lines a lot for your wife to leave you. No, I stopped being on them. But they keep sending me text messages to, like, get back on and get a free trial Change membership. Change your phone number. You know how much that costs? I'm cheap. Change your phone number? <laughs> but there was just one time that I did almost cheat. With the hurt she thinks I did. What was, I, the, what was the time you almost cheated on? OK, I met this girl on MySpace because I was looking for a job. I was You're job looking searching. for a job on MySpace. Yes, there's all kinds of postings on oh, there. Oh, sure. So I was looking for a job, and there's this girl on there, and you know, I talked to her and found out that she was she was gonna get some money. So I was like, cool, you know. She was gonna give you money. She was gonna get some money. Oh. So I was like, cool. Then. So what? And then you thought maybe I'll get some too? Yeah, I'll get some too. Like I told my wife I was working. So my wife thought I was working, but I, I was working. I was working a girl trying to get her for some money. So I made an investment. I invested like twenty dollars into her, took her to a dinner, a little Chinese buffet, you know, made an investment. <laughs> Trying to, you know, get my money back. I thought no, I wait, had... wait, wait. Let me guess. Was it all you can eat? Oh, sure, of course. <laughs> she, she, she was a little thick. Okay. I knew she liked to eat, you know. Um, give her a couple of egg rolls, a couple of little mushu, a little and, Chinese. And, and so you took her to the... <laughs> You took her to the Chinese, and what happened? And um, no, I took her to the movies after that. The funny thing was, I saw I let her see the movie that my wife wanted to see. I bought my wife the bootleg, so she got mad over that. But... And does she know you took this other girl to see the movie? Yeah, she, the girl ended up telling her when she found out. The girl told her everything. The girl had a big mouth. She told her everything. The girl had a big mouth. Yeah. But so I was trying to make my investment. So when you were making this investment, it. was there any sexual contact? No, 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 nothing at all. I just kissed movies her, I just kissed her twice. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cheat on her. I love my wife. I love You're her dearly. You're married. I do. I know, and I love her dearly. If she went out with some guy to the movies and dinner and kissed him, would you be mad? Put him how much money he gave her. <laughs> if, 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 if this she, is if, the mother. She, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's an investment. It's not like it's like it's not so like. So you're basically saying she's a whore. No, no, not at all. She's if, a very good, clean woman. And she goes out and gets money from another guy. You're okay with that? No, no, it's not like that. That's you, what you just no, said. No, you're flipping it. You're flipping it. I'm not it. flipping you're it. You're flip-flopping it. You're flipping it. No, I'm making it. I'm making it. <laughs> what I'm saying is, Steve, what I'm saying is that I was, I wasn't working then. I couldn't get a job, so I wanted to get some money. I have a wife and two kids. I don't, you know, provide, make marriage. I wanted to get her nails done for her. I've been trying. I got one now, but I didn't have one back then. Okay, your wife, Amanda's here. Let's bring her out. Oh, oh. Uh... First of all, it's not a joke. Seriously. I'm not, I know it's not a joke. I'm being real. Then why real. are you laughing? Because you're tripping like it's no, not serious. No, I'm not tripping. You and are tripping. Minute, you told Steve that you kissed her twice. You yeah. told me once. No, I said twice. I said no, twice. No, you told me once. OK, it was once then. My bad, Steve. I was wrong. It was once. <laughs> are you serious? No. Babe, you don't 
funny. This you know is it. not funny. Seriously, it's You're not, not listening no, to up. me. You're not listening to me. Oh my God. Listen this to is me. not funny. No, I'm not listening. Why Everything not? that comes out your mouth is blah, blah, blah. It's fake. It's a lie. It's I don't lie. Funny. I massage the truth to make it fit your need. I don't lie. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't trust you. You need to how trust me. Why? You haven't given me okay. a reason to trust you. Let me ask you, Amanda, how bad was it with the chat lines? Probably every week, every month, every two weeks. He was in the hospital with strep throat on the chat line. <laughs> he used the, the hospital phone because he must have ran out of his free child membership on his cell phone. So I call and it's busy. And I know the, the chat line numbers that he calls. So I called him and I got on the female side. <laughs> and so you got on the chat line? To, to hear if he was on there. And he, sure enough, he was. And whenever <laughs> I pressed the button to talk to him, I said, now you're busted. And he hung up. And then when I finally got through, I called back. He said, oh, I must have knocked over the phone when I was asleep. <laughs> I mean, seriously? And then, like, two hours later, he admits it to me. Do you think he cheats with these women he meets on these chat I, lines? I think so. I mean, he took her to dinner. He took her I mean, to kissing. And, and then he told me that, that, that she was sitting on his lap and, you know, straddling him or whatever. Knowing that this hurts your wife, being on the chat lines, knowing that your little boys probably wouldn't appreciate and wouldn't like that dad's right. talking to other women, wouldn't you say, wouldn't you say, I'm not going to do this. My family's the most important and thing. And that's why I don't do it no more. That's why I stopped. What, two months ago? Nate, uh, you're here because you want to prove to your wife you want to give her the truth, right? Right. All right. Truth is going to set you free? Right. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? To get my help, go to www.stewilcos.com. Nate, you came on, you took a lie detector test, and you were asked, have you physically cheated on Amanda more than five times? Um, you answered no, and the results for that is deception indicated. Have you gone on chat lines since the end of December? You answered no, deception was indicated. Have you ever met up with any other female from a chat line since you've been with Amanda? You said no, deception indicated. Do you engage in phone sex with the females you met on chat lines? You said no, but I don't even believe that. Uh, deception Man, indicated. That's BS. Yeah. Are you serious? That's BS. Oh, that's BS. That's BS. That's BS. That's BS. Are you serious? They are lying. They are lying. Are you serious? That is a lie. No, no, no. no, no. I don't care what that says, no, no, no. Are you serious? I don't care. Yes. And hey, deception. And again, you know what? This is an important thing to your wife. You split up your family over this. Maybe it's now the time to stop being a clown right now and be honest with your wife, admit what you did, and move forward with I'll your marriage. It. That's why I'm here. I'm here to move forward. OK. You know what? I'm trying to give you good advice. Whether you take it or not, that's it. up to you. I came here for All help. Right, so I'm giving I came you for advice. Counseling, whatever be I truthful did. to your wife right now. I'm being true. I have never had sex with nobody else. I don't care what nobody says. I know what I've done. Liar. Liar. You can believe what you want to believe. I know. I'm here because I want to fix our relationship. I want you to come but home. How, how can you fix it if you're still doing what you're doing? I ain't doing nothing. I have not done so anything. So you're saying a lie detector test just, you know. Why, why would I call and make a lie detector test if I'm going to lie on you? Because you're stupid. I'm not stupid like that. <laughs> I'm here to, I'm here I mean, to fix it. I want to fix us. I want us if... to work. I want you to come home, stop BSing around, come home and be a wife and be a mother to our kids and be my wife. I want you home. Are you saying I'm not a mother to I'm my kids? I'm not saying that. You over there, we over here. Listen, Whatever. if she comes home, and that's up to her, right, if you say no, but if she said she was going to come home, would you promise not to cheat? I give her my phone. I ain't going to do nothing. See, you don't answer the questions. I'm yes, asking. I promise. Well, I put that on my life. You promise not to go on chat lines. I promise. You wouldn't go on chat Scott's lines anymore. Scott's on a hand to God. I and won't do would, nothing. And you would go to counseling. I go to counseling right now. Where the counselor at? I'm being real. I'm serious. I'm trying to fix this. I want this to work. Okay. I'm, I'm not... So he says he promises to stay. And I got to be honest. I don't even know if I believe you. But he says, I'm just telling you. I... I'm just saying, I'm trying. I'm being okay. real. Like, now, this is who You're I am. You're not being real. I am being real with you. OK. So he says he promises not to cheat, go on chat lines, and get counseling. What do you say to that? I think it's fake. I think it's a front. So we're going to, this is what we're going to do. You can go out the door and walk off with your husband. We're going to give you counseling, all the things, and we'll follow up and make sure he's staying off chat lines. And, you know, we'll provide a counselor for your marriage. But if you think you still need more time and let him prove to you he's going to be a good husband and you still need your own time, go out that door. We're going to give him help either way. 
we're going to give it. We're not, not, if you go out the door, if you don't go out the door, if he wants counseling for whatever help he needs with chat lines or cheating or whatever it is, I'm we're going to give it to him. I want to come home. I just want him to change. Listen, I'm not trying to influence you one way or the other, but maybe go home, go see your kids, see if he makes the change of getting some help for his addiction, and uh, go from there. Okay. Is that, yeah. you think that's a good move? Yeah. Let's go. Thanks.